Hey guys, how are you? I'm back with another exciting episode of Toys in My Closet. Thank you for joining me and today I hope you really enjoy what I'm about to show you guys and kind of give my own perspective and review on. And as you can see in front of me, I'm going to try to give you a quick review of the Hitman Absolution Play Arts Kai Agent 47 and Halo Combat Evolve evolved right master chief play arts kai action figure as well uh so i hope you enjoy what i'm going to try to do i'll try to be as faithful and as uh thorough as i can with the reviews for each individual figure and i hope that uh you guys enjoy it and can really uh uh get a new perspective on these figures if you have interest or did have interest and kind of never went uh, and took the dive uh, because of being spectacle or skeptical rather and not really knowing if you wanted to invest so uh, without further ado let's get right into it and we'll start uh, with uh, let's see so we have a winner as you can see we're going to start with Halo Combat Evolve Master Chief and as you all know, Master Chief is a very, very, or most of you should know, is a very, very iconic character from the Halo franchise game that started way back on the Xbox original console uh, from Microsoft. And he's become a very world-renowned character uh, with comic books and with animations, TV shows, and even small uh, straight to uh, uh, online, uh, uh, you know, also uh, episodes and TV shows that are, were directly uh, done online. So, uh, let's start off and I'll show you here the uh, Halo Combat Evolve. Of, uh, basically, we'll start off with the box. And as you can see, uh, the box is uh, very nice. It came in a nice... Uh, sheen look style uh, square box the thing that I really appreciate from the box uh, promotional uh, shot is that he has the actual green that I think is the correct green that was from the game um, and it's some it's a little different in the actual figure as you can see here all the way down and it has the silhouette of what would be you know when he stands up to speak to Cortana which is embedded in his Helmet and she's his guide. These were the uh, Play Arts Kai figure that started coming with the uh, blister bubbles. And here you have some of the uh, explanations of Master Chief, Petty Officer, and it explains to you his, uh, the, the, the size of his, uh, the type of his uh, armory, which is the Mark IV or V, and little bios of who he is as his human identity, which is supposed to be. Uh, John 117, as you see there, with his hide and, and, and uh, date of birth. Because uh, he's, I think, a clone or uh, cybernetically induced, like uh, created the type of pistol he uses. And the assault rifle that comes with the figure. And the side you'll see has a uh, nice uh, halo uh, word lettering. With the font of the game and Play Arts Kai, obviously. It says 10 year anniversary. I guess this was celebrating the 10 year of Halo. And then in the back, of course, we have some really awesome promotional shots uh, of the figure in different uh, poses and positioning. And now I believe in this series, as you guys can notice right here down the bottom, we have a Spartan Mark IV or V also. Uh, but I think he's supposed to be uh, in a different... Uh, he's one of the other uh, like soldiers from Master Chief's uh, crew. He's like a metal gun gray, and he comes with the bazooka, which I forgot the name of, which I forgive me uh, for that, um, because I really don't know the iconic names, and these are iconic weapons. They're very well known, especially with the Halo fans. So forgive me for that. I'm not trying to bastardize the review. And again, another thing uh, with the font, Halo, uh, here on the top as well, as you can see. Just to give you an idea of what the box has, and then in the bottom, it's just screening. 
So we'll get right to the figure. And here is uh, Master Chief in all of his glory, of course. Let's, oh, sorry. Let's bring this down. Uh, okay. As you can see, I'm trying to focus it the best that I can. And uh, Master Chief is stands... The figure stands about, I would say, a nice... Uh, maybe 10 inches tall. Um, he, uh, he has a very um, wonderful... Um, green uh, but it's like a military green with kind of like the greenish tone from the game that's on the box art of the promotion like I said as you can see it's visor it's that very beautiful uh, gold kind of color let me see if we can focus it even better there you go as you can see he has really nice detail all over. And here's a, a uh, you know, um, a sh uh, <clears throat> what you call it, his, one of his weapons is assault rifle, as you see here. And he stands uh, <clears throat> very well. Uh, he, the figure has a lot of, uh, you know, uh, what you call those... Um, Washes. It has a lot of wash of gold on top, on t if, if you will. Uh, and it has a lot of uh, details, you see, even in the back. Uh, that's his, I believe, was his thrusters. This is his back buttocks area, which is nice and detailed as well. And it has the effect and the detail where you can see that he has a... You know, a a uh, protective suit underneath the armory. Uh, also, on the top here, on the shoulders, you see he has uh, kind of like the flaps. Well, this is so that it won't uh, hinder the articulation of the figure. Uh, and uh, it has like little details like this on his uh, thigh, on his legs. Very nice paint work. Uh, even here, as you can see, it has uh, wear, uh, and like he was, he's been in battle, as you see. Weather, they put some weathering, basically, and on his armor here, if you can see closely, and there as well, if you can see very closely how it is, it has weathering right there, and over here, um, but. As for the most part, with the paintwork, it's very clean. Uh, and it's not much of different tones of colors. Other than, uh, you know, the fact that he's like a a nice, uh, like I said, a nice uh, uh, green. Uh, like the game with, with some metallics and sheen to it. It has the metallic look and, and the weathering of combat. And obviously the... Uh, the shade of gold that's uh, embedded even in his hands here, if you can see, they're really nicely detailed and sculpted as well. There we go. You see? Really, really nice. Yes. Even his fingers has some nice touch-ups of, of, of paint on them and things like that. Very nice figure. Uh, feels very high quality. This is when, I, like I said, when Play Arts Kai's uh, was actually their figures were, were feeling like they were coming into a more high quality level okay and so let's talk about his accessories really quick he comes like like I said with this uh, assault rifle as you guys can see here it comes with this assault rifle um, uh, as you can see here uh, uh, really nice it has a gunmetal effect to it as well uh, the metal effect to it as well with black uh, this is a pin that comes on and off actually as you can see here I'll show you and demonstrate in a second well it's not coming off too easy but it, it's uh, basically it comes off but you can so you can peg it onto his back uh, and, and he can have it there there you go see some nice green there and some nice weathering. This is his classic, iconic 
assault rifle. Very nicely done, very nicely sculpted, uh -huh. highly detailed and very well painted. Nice clean applications of paint. Uh, and of course, if you're a customizer, you can always touch it up yourself. And then he comes with two uh, extra set of hands, left and right, uh, that are more open for his, uh, I guess, to make him look like, to say, you know, uh, like hold on or some like type of gesture when he's talking to his uh, crew. Really nicely painted, like I said, even in here in the grooves and in here. Uh, so we're going to get to... His articulation really fast. He has his head, uh, which is on a ball joint. Very nice range, up and down, left and right. Kind of a, a 180 degree movement with no problems. Uh, give me one second. Okay, and you see how uh, you know it has nice range of movement. He even has some painting right there in blue. All attention to details and some scuff of blue there. I think that was over some paint wash uh, dripping that went. And then he has, you know, the shoulders and a ball joint. You can get a 360 degree rotation uh, up this way, you know, which would be like this. Uh, you get a nice double hinge ball joint, but it's it sounds like a ratchet, as you can hear. Uh, you got a swivel over here in the upper uh, upper uh, uh, bicep. Then you have a full ball joint here on, on the arm. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it to, for it to focus. Okay, a ball joint in the arm. You can see you can go up. It can go in, out. And he has a abdomen, uh, an abdomen cut, and he has also a, uh, I believe, a swivel. No, no, he has a crunch, which you can put him this way, or put him like this. A crunch articulation. This piece, which is the crotch area. It's actually of a nice rubber plastic, but it feels like it's part of the metal with the good paint application they did. Then the splits can't go very far because I guess the hindering of obviously his his uniform, but his legs go this far back and can go this far forward. Uh, it has a little ball joint in there where you have some type of upper thigh swivel. Then you have ratchet knees, as you can see, and they're painted. Maybe not the nicest looking one, but remember this figure is about, uh, you know, I would say 10 years old, uh, or more than, not 10, but maybe 7 years old, or maybe 6. Then you have his iconic boots on the bottom with the feet, dark detail, with the ball joint with the ratchet go forward, and 360 degree. Kind of has, I think, uh, yeah, kind of has like a, a rocker, not too much and nothing in the in the tips of the pivots. Uh, so, you know, so yeah. Um, and Oh, and then as another accessory he has, and I'm going to try not to move it off his hand because it's kind of hard to put it on his hand. He has the iconic pistol, which also, as you can see, is very well painted. As you can see, solid and very nice. As you can see, uh, he has the uh, the uh, uh, you know this pegs. This is what I'm talking about. You put it in, and you can peg it here in the side, and put is. Let me remove it so you guys can see. I'll just peg it this way, and make it look like it's hanging from his side like this, like so, which makes it look really cool. Uh, don't get me wrong; it looks very cool. Uh, so, yeah, he has like at least uh, 36 points of articulation, if I'm not mistaken. Um, put the box back over here. Um, and uh, he looks really incredible. Um, they've made other versions of him. Uh, Play Arts Kai, obviously. 
Um, I don't know, uh, you know what, you know what's your preference as far as Halo goes or Master Chiefs goes. This was the one that they first made, so I jumped in and dived in and got them. I got them for a very very good price uh, because Play Arts card back then was still reasonable. They had reasonable pricing. Uh, I believe he was like forty five dollars. Now in the aftermarket, being that he was the first one in first print, I believe he goes for like maybe a hundred eighty, maybe two hundred, maybe a little cheaper. But it might you might run in the possibility of it being a bootleg. Um, so yeah, I mean he's a fantastic figure. He's definitely worth the money, especially at the time that I bought him. Uh, right now, I guess it would be depend on your wallet, um, what you're willing to spend, and how real, how much he really means to you as a Halo fan and an action figure collector uh, to have him in your collection if you don't have him already. For those who don't have him, so I hope that this review uh, of him really helps you guys out. I hope you really like it, and uh, you know, and. Uh, you know, if, give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, because it means a lot to me. And, uh, you know, I can improve me, my reviews as I go along with whatever figure I try to present to you at that moment. So, yeah, guys. Uh, you know, like I said, if you like them, check them out. Just give me a second. I'll be right back. Let's go into the Halo Absolution. Yeah, my apologies. I want to say I last uh, before I, I went to him, I said Halo Absolution, which I meant Hitman Absolution. So yeah, this is Hitman Absolution from Play Arts Kai. So we're gonna get right into it. Same same deal with the box. It's the same thing. Really nice box in a square, you know, space uh, with a nice sheen uh, with this Hitman uh, logo Absolution, and then the seal of approval or of quality of Play Arts Kai with a nice metallic seal stamp. Bottom, you know, nothing really in the side except Hitman down here and Agent 47's symbol. A nice little pose iconic from the cover of the game. Hitman up here. Hitman on the top. And of course, we go to the back and we got some wonderful promotional shots of Agent 47 in all of his glory, right? Here and here, and here. As you can see, it doesn't have any more uh, figure uh, promotion because this series was de dedicated solely to Hitman. He's the only badass in the game, as you see, Agent 47, and the depiction of his last uh, biggest game until now, which is also based off a very iconic video game from Square Enix and IDOS from going as far back as the. Uh, Saturn and I believe the PlayStation 1. I could be wrong, but yeah, I believe so. Uh, and he's from another, his latest video game was more of a digital download episodic style. Uh, but a lot of people actually liked it. And, uh, you know, they haven't made nothing new for him. So this is the only existing Hitman figure from this line. Other than the one that I believe uh, McFarlane did years back. Which was very nice in scope, but very brittle and broke easily and really didn't have a lot of articulation. It was more like a statue. So, we'll move this over and we'll go into Hitman himself. Now, I discussed this before with you guys in previous reviews. That I buy these stands here at my uh, online or in Michael's. You can find them or some place like, uh, maybe like uh, 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 AC Moore. Um, you know, they, they sell them in packs, they sell them single, it depends how much, what type of inventory your local AC Moore or Michaels carry. And I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite, favorite, favorite figures of video games, uh, in general, from all the ones I have, because he just looks so simple, but at the same time, so badass. Because he's a he's very human-like even though he's supposed to be uh, cybernetically or genetically en enhanced. Uh, his name's Agent 47, obviously. He's a clone. They're all the same. And, you know, he has his iconic uh, rifle here. Um, and his iconic pistols. He has one here in his, in, in his hand. And then I have one that I stored in his back right there. Uh, to put away, like he has it in the back of his 
of his uh, of his jacket. Uh, kind of like in the way he does in the movie or in the game. If anybody watched any of the Hitman movies, one was with Josh Duhamel and the other one was a another newcomer actor. So I, I kind of do it that way. Uh, and uh, I got this figure is just absolutely stunning as far as the paint work. Matter of fact, real quick, let's see inside the box. We have the bubble here as well as so I forgot to show you. And then we had these. Uh, little bios things here that explains uh, the Ika, I think Ika, and then Agent 47 code name, and it has a little bio of his description, you know, and the top, obviously you have the, that, uh, that uh, you know, that thing of uh, showing his suitcase with the weapons. Very simple, very nice, effective, effective, very nice casing. So we go back to him, and we'll see here, and as you can see, we'll start off with his face sculpt. And he really looks, the likeness is, uh, it, from the game to the figure is very, very, very impressive, to say the least. He has the blue eyes, 5 o'clock shadow, wash around his face and his forehead, uh, just basically showing... Uh, you know, his detail and then his code bar explaining what number of Agent 47 he is. He has the wonderful suit. All this is soft rubbery. Uh, and the inside is red, painted red. Uh, his iconic, you know, tie. And it looks like a suit. And then his wonderful gloves, you see, as you see there. The details are really, really phenomenal. Um, as his pants, you see the wrinkling, the belt. You can even slide in the the uh, tie into his uh, pants, like so, to give him more classy look. Then you have his uh, legs, same thing, very nice with the boot shoes that he has. His iconic shoe boots, right there. Right, very nice. You see that? Very, very nice. And then the back is just, you know, you see the back as well. Nice wrinkled detail. A lot, a lot of detail. Even though it's a solid black and with an ivory washed white on the shirt, uh, you can really, it really stands out because they did a really, really good job with him to make him look. Uh, and he fell down. <laughs> make him look really, really good uh, as far as lightness goes. Uh, and he's super poseable. So we'll go and talk about his accessories real quick, which are first and foremost his assault rifle, right, that you see here, or his uh, sniper gun, rather, you know, sniper. Uh, it's really nice, comes with this piece here, which I believe I had to pop in. I kind of glued it because it kept popping out, and I didn't want it to keep popping out. It has really nice color, again. Like most play arts kai uh, accessories, as you will. Uh, let me see if I can get it focused. There we go. See, um, black, solid black with a nice gun metal, and then the tip of the silencer in, is in black as well, and then the scope right here in black, really nice. And then the trigger has a nice gun metal and. The holster uh, stabilizer uh, is in nice gunmetal as well. Then he has obviously two of these. His iconic pistols, yes. With a nice burgundy kind of brownish black seal grip on it and gunmetal for the gun. Very, very nice. And then he brings two, an extra set of hands in a solid matte black with a lot of detail for different positioning. This one's for the gun, for the right hand, I believe. And then this one's for just, uh, you know, uh, grabbing the, the rifle uh, on the holster if he was carrying it with his hands. And these don't have the little opening that shows the inside of his hand, like the flesh tone, like the... Like these do it. You see? They show his flesh tone. 
It's like a little window, and then you even have the detail here of his shirt on the inside coming through the suit. So, as far as articulation goes, as you can see, his head, again, it's in a nice uh, ball joint, but it's very stiff. Uh, I've had this figure for a long time. I don't really uh, mess with them because I consider them high quality, so I have them in my display. I don't really like to mess with them. It goes up and down range like this, like that, left and right, but not really a 360 type of move, which is okay, because he's not supposed to be hyper animated, he's more human. Then it has a nice ball joint on the top, and it cuts. I believe you can move it and rotate it 360, but since he has a suit, you don't really want to do that. Then uh, he has a ball joint here in the hands and the knee and the elbows. Ratchet. You see? He has a uh, no bicep cut because of the, the sculpt. Uh, I guess they wanted to make it look as best as they can, even though this is kind of hard to hide but you know it is a figure with articulation then you have uh, the ball peg of course in the uh oh boy help me cheese louise here and in, in, in the hands which shows up in out depending on the positioning he has the abdomen area there which is like a little crunch and swivel he has a swivel in torso he can do split and a ball joint in there this is soft goods it actually feels like a separate piece he can move the swivel this way on both legs then the leg has a double jointed knee which also doesn't look too great but it's all black and down and then he has the ball joint in the leg for front and back full rotation and doesn't really have a rocker but I mean you can still position it and pose him very well and no uh, you know no toe articulation uh, I, I really um I really uh, fell in love with this figure when I went to uh, Comic Con, and they were showing him for the first time, um, with uh, with uh, what you call it, with the Tomb Raider one. Uh, they both came out the same year uh, and were shown off the same year. Um, so I really knew when I saw him, I had to get him. And again, at that point, that's when uh, I say, you know, when Play Arts Sky was uh, starting to bring up the quality of their figures a lot higher. Um, and putting a lot of care and love and more quality control to them. Uh, this figure, again, when I bought it, was a 50 or $55 figure. Uh, he stands about 10 inches. He stands about, oops, sorry. He stands about 10 inches tall. Uh, that seems to happen to me in every video now. <laughs> sorry. He stands about 10 inches tall. And, uh, and as far as size. Um, and then... Uh, <clears throat> He has the accessories, like I said, and he, he's absolutely amazing. I, I can't stress that enough. In person, and you see him in person, you really can see how wonderful and beautiful the figure actually really is. Uh, I don't think this video or myself can do it justice, unless maybe I had a 4K camera, which I don't. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, uh, I highly recommend them for your collection, especially if you're a Hitman fan or if you're a fan of this figure or of this character. I don't think you're going to find them for cheap. Uh, the cheapest I've seen them, I believe, is, was 100 or 120 on the aftermarket, which sucks greatly, but it is what it is, people. We can't really do anything about that. Uh, once these figures, especially figures like this, that from, you know, from Play Arts, Kai, or even from Sideshow, they really tend to do like one run for their figures, and then after they do the one run for their figures, you know they're out of print and you they don't really do them anymore so you know it, it comes with the um i guess what you would call collecting territory uh and i know i don't mean to sound like a schmuck by saying that but that's the reality of it of of it people are uh, it, it's just part of the uh figure collecting uh it comes with the territory it just it is what it is 
And to give you a real quick kind of a, a reference of height or, or an idea, this is a uh, Masters of the Universe, uh, you know, uh, seven inch figure, I guess, or seven and a half inch figure. So look. So yeah, so maybe they're about, I would say, nine, about nine or ten inch tall uh, in size. He's about, this is Hordak from the uh, Master Unit's classic from the Super 7. Uh, so he's about seven inches or seven and a half. No, seven. So, yeah, you figure more or less, just to give you a cross reference and an idea uh, of size. Um, very different figures, obviously. So thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it for your time. I hope I uh, uh, was uh, fair enough and uh, insightful enough with the information of these figures. I know it feels like I'm trying to basically speed run, but it's because I just feel the figures speak for themselves uh, when I show them to you and uh, what they look like um, and what they have to offer. Uh, instead of going on a long tangent too long of, for each individual figure. And this is a video game centric uh, channel, so I try to do video game centric uh, reviews for figures that I have based on video games. Again, thank you for joining me. Um, leave a comment uh, for any type of uh, constructive criticism to try to improve the quality or anything you might want to see me do in the future, whether it's a figure review of a particular kind of a video game or something that you might know about. If I have it or if I can get my hands on it, I'll try to do it. Uh, uh, you know, like if you like and share it if you like. It's all appreciated. I know you don't have to, but if you do, I greatly appreciate it because I know you don't have to. Uh, so thanks again, guys. See you soon. Love you. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to have something up, uh, figure uh, base centric with video games soon again. All right. Be good, guys. Have a good night, and love you.